Hey Pony Pals, it's finally Emma from Paint Pony Studios and welcome to our Briarfest slash Epilocity haul from 2018. As you guys can probably see, I have a very minimal amount of briars, one of which isn't even technically mine, but he's here anyway. Um, so let's get started on this haul video. And some of this is stuff that um, or actually I should say one of these items is something that I just, I came home from the factory with as, you know, a, a bonus. Um, but, alright, let's get started. Where do you want to start? Stable mates! Okay. This is hands down. This is from the Garland gift shop. He was one of those special runs in there. And I am still debating whether or not I want to paint this guy, just because Briar's paint job and all the little details, like the bridle, saddle, saddle pad, um, isn't quite the cleanest, but he is a super cute paint job, and you guys know how much I love chestnuts with chrome. So I'm really, really debating um, whether or not to keep him OF. And he came in this cute little pouch. He's got, it's got the same pattern on it that Brass Hat's um, box had, you know, the Celebration Horse. Um, which I really love all the flags and everything. I think it looks super cute. Moving on, we have one of the single day stable mates, um, which I don't normally splurge for these, but because it was mini ruffian, I had to. And she's absolutely adorable. She's got beautiful shading in gloss. Came home with a lot of bays this year, as you guys can probably see. And even down to the hoof stripes and her adorable little star on her face. And her too, she also came in one of these cute little pouches. And I believe um, the colors, I think the colors match the silks of the original racehorse. I'm not exactly sure, I'd have to do some research on that, but I, I think that her silks were um, red and yellow. Moving back here, this is Mini Peat or Repeat. Um, I wish I could show you guys the original or the big pebbles version, the actual peat. Um, but because of some molding issues and just production issues with the Pebbles Mustang mold for stone, um, we had some delays. So instead of making everybody wait for the Pebbles, um, they gave everyone who had pre-ordered one of Pete this adorable repeat. Um, and also they came in cute little bags at the Ice Cream Social. This was the Ice Cream Social special run and I made these adorable little tags for them at the factory. Thank you for waiting. So not only did I get um, Pete, the big Pebbles Mustang, but Repeat was totally free. Um, so basically I got two $60 horses for 60 bucks. Moving on to Cowboy Austin's new mount, for now anyway, until we can find him a different horse. Um, this was my 2018 judges model from the Stone Age live show that I got for hosting. And I want to give a big shout out to Audrey Dixon of Wild Horse Studios. Um, she actually is the one, I'll move him, different horse. She's actually the one who painted this beautiful lady. And you can see all the real subtle dapples. Um, Audrey's really good at her airbrush dapples. And also the subtle gold underneath the coat which she adds to a lot of her horses. This is honestly probably one of my dream and illusions. I, I honestly would have gotten a design a horse very similar to this had I not gotten a judge's model, just because I do like the roached mane look. You know, this is the non-custom Andy, and I think she looks gorgeous in this color, especially with a cute little star. Okay, moving on. This is my little uh, bonus from the factory. Um, I got this, for those of you who don't know, I was the one who designed the um, Design a Horse dress up game programs on Stone's website. And so as a little thank you bonus, um, I got this little girl, which you guys may know as the Fruit Stripe Foal, the Lime Fruit Stripe Foal. And she, she was one that I really wanted to order and just didn't jump on fast enough. Um, and so uh, when I was told that, you know, oh, we'll give you a little bonus for doing your um, design a horse program, and there happened to be one of these left in the office, um, they know that my favorite color is lime green, and so this was the obvious choice. And I'm very, very happy with her. Um, Dawn painted these, Dawn Quick, and she did an awesome job. 
Look at those little stripies. She is simply adorable. And she doesn't have a name yet. Neither does this one, actually, either. And all these guys don't have names yet. I haven't been home long enough to think about names. Moving on, I'm gonna move Cowboy Austin back. This is the Celebration Horse Brass Hat. And this is the model that is technically not really mine, um, just because I decided I wasn't going to keep a brass hat, even though I actually really like him this year, and I like him better than I thought I was going to. Um, you can see he's kind of got a blue shimmer to him. I might be able to show you guys that in the light. Um, but I decided I was going to keep one as a body, and so this is one of the, um, probably the worst one we got, which is why it's my body. And, and even that, this is probably the best quality I've seen on a Celebration horse in years. Um, because our worst was he has a little bit of paint missing on his nostril. And even that would be fixable. But because I love Carrick so much and Cortez C has been retired, this is my only way to get a uh, Carrick body. Because the last one I did was Nimbus. And he was a just a dominant white kind of like this, just without the blue eyes. He had brown eyes. Moving on over here, we have some bodies that I managed to score at the Fairfield. And you guys know how quickly those bodies go. Some of you, I'm sure, you get there at the end of the day and all they have left are the Tennessee Walkers. Um, so this is the little Arab foal. Same mold as, as my new little girl, just without her tail wig. Um, so. I'm gonna be looking for some color ideas for this little girl too. She's in pretty rough shape, which is why she's in the body bin. She's got excess plastic everywhere, uh, seams, but we can get her fixed up good as new. And also scored a bunny body, also without her tail wig, um, which is what they're called at the factory. Any tail or mane that gets attached is called a wig. Um, so like this guy's the non-custom without a wig. This is also our non-custom bunny without a wig. And she she's really heavy. For those of you guys who have never picked up a bunny model before, she's super heavy and so is the brand new design horse. Hmm? We should weigh her. We should weigh her. <laughs> I mean, she's, she's gotta be at least, I mean, this guy feels like nothing to pick up. She's gotta be at least a pound and a half, if not, you know, I mean, she might be a little light. She might be a pound, but I'm thinking a pound and a half. She is hefty. Ow. Solid. <laughs> An absolute unit. <laughs> so I'm probably gonna be looking for some color suggestions for all these guys too. So if you want to see, or if you wanna let me know what you'd like to see them painted as, just drop me a line in the comments. And this guy, I already have plans for. But I really lucked out on this one. Thank you, Dawn, for finding him for me. Um, but this is a, a custom body. He's not an extreme custom, but he is a highly customized standing draft body. You see he's got a new tail on him and this long, luxurious mane. And I don't know how this guy ended up in the body box. I mean, to me, there's absolutely nothing wrong with him, but that's just better for me. <laughs> Less prep work for my dad. Um, thank you, Father. Um, but he's really cool, and he's already I've already kind of got an idea of what I want to paint him. I, ha I got some suggestions from some people. Uh, I did a live stream on Instagram not too long ago as of filming this that I got some suggestions of what they want to see him as, and I think you guys are really going to love it. So let's look at our Briarfest swag this year. So we did, we did end up with buttons, even though they didn't give them to us for admission. They were still free. And they're a little different design than the typical buttons. A lot of the previous years have been round. So this is the first time that I've seen the actual um, square diamond shaped button. And then same with the pin. And I don't know why they didn't do these the same color. Normally the pins mimic the buttons. Either way, I still think they're adorable. Magnet this year. And Brass Hat had his own little trading card. Real horse on the front, model on the back. And they had some really neat spirit swag, um, which some of these we picked up last year, but I don't even know if I showed you. These adorable little bookmarks and then these tattoo sets, which we had so much fun. Um, we, did, we had a 4-H meeting, 
one time and we used these um, tattoo sets and we gave each other all tattoos. It was really, really fun. So I don't know if we're giving these away, if we're gonna do another little tattoo session or both. I mean, we'll see. Depends on what you guys wanna see, I guess, too. Some other swag. This was stuff that I picked up at the Artisans Gallery. Actually, Anna grabbed this for me. Kylie had some stickers left, Studio Thorn Rose. I didn't get any Takeshi stuff, which I'm super bumming about. I really would have liked a medallion or one of her stickers. Um, but then these postcards are from Mindy Berg, and they feature some of her work. And I think they're stunning. I mean, the Cobra Mares are my favorite. But this guy, or in the little, the Doolittle Unicorn, or the Dewdrop Unicorn, too. And then Rona, little Rona, painted to be a zebra. And then I believe this is Fritz on the back as like a Frisian sport horse or something like that. I also got a bookmark from her too, because one of my not pictured Briarfest purchases was a copy of The Last Unicorn. So I picked up a bookmark from her with the little uh, dewdrop unicorn on the, on the front so I could have that for my copy of The Last Unicorn. Uh, here's our program from this year. Same as always. Got your special runs, all the entertainment. And I think they took this down off the website for some reason. Normally you can still find previous ones, but I wasn't able to find um, this on the website as of a couple years or a couple couple days ago. Then we have stone coloring books, which you can order on their website. It's ten dollars, free shipping, um, and they are designs that I did of stones models, and they all have uh, the name of the model and the stone logo on the bottom. And you guys can color these to your heart's content. Definitely share them with Stone via either Instagram or Facebook. And look, the new jumper chip mold, in case you guys didn't know. Um, Stone is getting a jumper chip mold, and he is adorable. Same with the, um, I'm gonna go back a couple pages. The Irish Draft is now out, and this big boy is super handsome in person. So definitely, if you guys even wanna play around uh, designing horses you would like to see from Stone on these coloring pages and share it with them. I'm sure they'd really love to see it. Last but not least, we have two of the t-shirts from this year. The Briarfest one is probably one of my favorite Briarfest shirts. It's black or the like a dark gray with black checkers. I think the logo looks really slick. I actually enjoy too how they've started to do like the original Briar logo and then add fest on the end of it in the yellow letters. I think that looks really classy. And then the stone shirt is the Daisy shirt. These came in three different colors, yellow, pink, and lime. And I did design these after um, one of the special runs that came out, whose name was Mia Claire Bear. She was a little Arab filly with a heart on her forehead. So this was one of the other Briarfest shirts, and these came in a couple different colors too. And originally this was supposed to be my mom's. It is a large, and I don't know how I fit into a large, but I guess it's mine now. So, <laughs> all right, Pony Pals, this has been our Briarfest and Equilocity loot. Thank you for sticking around and being patient with me as I transition back into the swing of things here from being at Stone. If you guys have any questions, um, it'd be really fun to do like a Q&A session. I know I've been doing a couple of them on Instagram, but if you guys want to see like a Q&A video or if you have any other ideas for videos, let us know in the comments below. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! No, I think you need to sit. You think I need to sit? Am I too close to the, the sun? Mm -hmm. There's a spider web up there. Are you recording? No. <laughs> That'll go at the end.
right. 